Blessed greetings, your servant house family and friends. Thanks for joining Abby and I as we look at this subject, Seek and Save. Seek and Save. In the midst of the pandemics of life, if you'll seek the right thing, you will be saved to bless and to be blessed. Let us pray. Father, we come to you this day, this hour, and for the rest of eternity to, prov to thank you and to praise you that you've given us life, God. You've given us a road to travel. And on this journey, God, you provide the best for us. So help us, God, in that which we've provided. Help us to give to others, to love you and love others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Marvin Williams tells a story in our devotion, Daily Bread devotional about the governor of New South Wales in Australia from 1810 through 1821, and he felt everybody was important. He wanted everybody treated well. Not only the people of the heads of the states mm -hmm. and the different leaders, but also he corrected them when they did not give enough respect to a prisoner that was being transported. To me, that's a great heart. If you want to see a prisoner treated well, what else will you do to help people that are in need? And I think in the pandemic, when we help the lowest, we show the greatest of God inside of us. I want to take us to Luke 19 to take a look at Zacchaeus, who Christ knew before he called him out. Then, in verse 1, Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector. He wasn't just a tax collector. He was over tax collectors, so he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd. For he was of short stature. He wasn't taller than the people. He wasn't like Saul, who was neck and shoulders above the average person, but he was lower, so he couldn't see Jesus Christ. And the thing is that when you are seeking Jesus, you will be able to find him. Zacchaeus was seeking him, okay? So he ran ahead because he saw the direction. I think that when you look up and you see life is going in a certain direction, it's telling you certain things you ought to do. Mm -hmm. Like this pandemic, it's certain things we ought to be doing for the healthcare workers. It's things because we know we have healthcare workers who contracted the virus. There's certain things we ought to be doing and praying and looking ahead to what's coming through. Here's the other thing I want everybody to be thinking of. This pandemic is going to end one day. Let's be looking ahead to what's it's going to happen as we prepare and we help others in it. So Zacchaeus, he ran ahead. He was looking ahead. And he climbed up in a sycamore tree to see Jesus Christ. And he knew where he was going. He would pass by the sycamore. So this man is planning. That is great. Verse 5. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Wait a minute. He hadn't been introduced. He knew who Zacchaeus was, didn't he? And he called him by name. He said, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. You mean no matter what we're doing, God knows where we're at. He has a word for each of us, no matter where we are or what we're going through. He knew about Zacchaeus, and he called him down, and he went to his house. He set in his mind an appointment. So, verse 6, he made haste and came down. When Jesus is talking to you, you ought to be hasty, isn't it? You ought to get close to Jesus just as quick as you can. And that's what he did. He came down, and he rejoiced and received Christ. Verse 7, but when they saw it, they all complained. You mean the good folks who knew Jesus saw this man who they hated. Why did they hate him? Because he was collecting taxes from the Jewish people to give to the Roman government. And he was not just a tax collector. He was a chief one. So, no, they did not like him. And they complained against him. And they didn't want Jesus to have no part of it. Let me tell you something. The worst person, I don't, you know, when we think about this pandemic, there's been lots of different riffles about who caused it, who did it, and what did it. Even if we find out that there was somebody who actually did this in an evil way, we ought to pray for them. Because we want them saved. We don't want them to go to hell. We want them to know who Jesus Christ is. And they looked at him, and they was not happy that he would sit with someone who would take money out of their pockets. But look at Jesus. He's going to be a guest at his house. So Zacchaeus stood and said to him, Lord, look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor. 
And if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I will store for false. He said, I'll make correction. I don't want to hurt people. I don't mean to be stealing from people. I want to do the right thing. And look what Jesus Christ said because he knew. And Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to your house. Yes. Why? Because you are also as a son of Abraham, for the son of man has come to seek and to save that which is lost. He knew it was lost. He knew it was certain. He knew what Zacchaeus needed. So if he knew what Zach needed, guess what? He knew what you and I need, don't we? Absolutely. And everybody in our circle, he knows. So as you go forth, seek and save because Jesus knows and he will lead you and he will call you. Zacchaeus sought to see Jesus, mm -hmm. and I don't know who saw who first, but the word said that Zacchaeus uh, had climbed up in the tree to see Jesus. But when Jesus passed by, he looked up and he called Zacchaeus by name, and he said, come down because I'm going to your house today. He invited himself to Zacchaeus' house. His own house. Yeah, who did that? <laughs> who, who does that? Jesus does. So what can you say with, if he does? Everyone else was saying that Jesus has... Is in the house of a sinner. But Jesus said that the reason he came was to seek and to save those who were lost. Yes. And Zacchaeus was lost. Jesus put the attention on Zacchaeus. And if we are disciples, disciple makers, we're going to have to make those people feel like they are worth it, that they are important. And that's what Jesus did with Zacchaeus. And when Zacchaeus became this new person, he was so excited about becoming a new person that he decided he was going to give back everything that he had cheated people out of. He was going to give it all back to them, and then more. Mm -hmm. Not like the rich young ruler who could not give up all he had for the poor. Mm -hmm. Jesus seeks us out, and he saves us, and he commissions us to go out and bring others back. You know, I, I like that. I had, thought, I had thought about that also, is that the rich young ruler wanted everything for himself. Okay, he didn't want to give anything up. Right. But Zacchaeus, he was willing to give up. And I think about that as for the people that God has put in my life who gave up so much for me. I can't thank them enough. I wish they were still alive so I could thank them. Mr. Moe Somerville, he was a leader of the choir of the senior and the youth. And he built so much in my life and talked to me so much. And even I could go to their house before or after church. They built into my life. Pastor uh, Reverend B.J. Jackson the pastor who had let me as a child come into his home and sit down and let him talk to me. And in the summertime, we'd sit on the porch and he'd be explaining Bible scriptures to me. That's seek and save. They did it for me. Sister Reba Hawkins, I know she corrected me sometime and sometime I thought it was harsh, but you know what? When I think about what kind of child I was, I think she was using the right tools. I'd like to leave you these four thoughts and perfectly will help you. First is, John Kevin wrote this and I quote, curiosity and simplicity are a sort of preparation of faith. It's just a beginning, and that's what they gave unto me. Number two, humility is available at all levels, ages, and stages of life. No matter what you're dealing with, God will give you through the stages. Number three, live a simple life for Jesus that is our mission and our vision. A mission is what we do, a vision is what we see. Always look to heaven for your vision. Number four, Run to Jesus and you will see he knows you, he loves you, he cares for you, and he will provide for you. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your provisions. And thank you, Lord, for seeking to save us, seeking us out, Lord Jesus, yes, so Lord. we can save, be saved for eternity. Lord, we just look forward to that. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. amen.